if you're learning data science now, how would you leverage AI to learn more effectively? Well, that's a good one. Um, or would you? Do you think it's better to independently develop those core skills? Because, for example, for me, you you met me in uni. My technical skills weren't great at all. If AI they, they was improved around, very quickly because they were so bad. It's, it's not hard <laughs> to go from zero to one. <laughs> um, it's if AI was around back then and I could have lent on it, I'd be in a much worse position now. Really. A hundred percent, because I feel like I would have lied have to myself. Yes, yes, I'd have lied to myself, seen the output, and be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I, I knew that." Whereas when I had to submit that FIFA assignment, got forty nine percent, that slapped reality into me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so, how would you treat AI if you were if you're first getting into data science? Mm. Um, learn to distinguish the difference between things which are complex and things which are complicated now what's the difference if something is complex it means that there are genuinely you know deep systems involved and uh, a conceptual framework that you need to develop and internalize in order to actually um, be capable and competent and articulate what needs to be done versus things which are complicated which are things that are not actually intellectually that deep yeah but just have a lot of factors so um i would say for instance um understanding how a neural network works that is a complex system so you need to internalize everything that you learn about that if you want to work with neural networks at a high level. Yeah. Whereas if you are just looking at, I don't know, um, how do I get this API to talk to this API? Yeah. That's not a particularly intellectually deep task. So you can just get ChatGPT to tell you how to do it. Um, because... At the end of the day, you've not learned that much in the long term from, you know, from going through that manual process. So it's I think it's it's that distinguish, distinguishing between those two different types, of challenge. I would push back even against that. Really, if somebody has no technical skills, I'm just learning. Mm. I don't think they would benefit from just saying how do I do a call. Let's say they are learning; they aren't trying to just achieve a goal i think they should try this is how i would approach yeah. it yeah try to do it by yourself if you can't do it ask for hints from an ai don't ask hey give me the exact line to do mm. this sort of like prompted like hey i'm learning data science i don't want you to give me the answer straight away teach me the concept so that i really understand mm. because remember how we're talking about how you can have gaps especially if you're going self-taught mm some fundamental gaps i think the more you lean on ai depending on how you use it super early on i think the mm. bigger gaps you could poten potentially cover up that, that's a fair that is a fair point um yeah and i suppose I'm, I'm kind of talking at this from the perspective of someone who is starting to do more learning again yeah um you know the fundamentals but already yeah knows knows a couple of programming languages and yeah how to use them um i think once you know how to do it where it's like eventually i would figure this out it might take me 45 mm -hmm. minutes to figure this out or i could just ask chat gpt but you know for sure yeah. you would have yeah, known yeah. how to achieve yeah. that ask away man yeah. Le -le uh, yeah that's that's a good way of putting it yeah especially if you're at work or trying to achieve a goal yeah i think that's ideal yeah if you're trying to build something and it's like okay i i, I could probably figure this out in about three hours yeah or it I yeah. could do it in two minutes. And then you can revise the output. If you are interested in learning data science, I've teamed up with Datacam to give you 25% off your subscription through my link in the description below. Datacamp is all about how you learn best, so you do have the option to learn interactively with no AI assistance at all. But if you are stuck, there's always the option to get a little bit of extra help through AI.